Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another amazing show today. We have for our guest is going to be one that many of you guys have heard. And if you haven't, you're going to learn today. We're going to show you how you can actually grow an Instagram page from zero to 10K in less than 60 days. And who else to show you this, but none other than one of my guests, Mr. Josue Pena, which I will be bringing on shortly. But before we do that, guys, I got to let you know some things, baby. You know, I got to let you know some things. First off, I got to show you some wins that people have been having within our community. Uh, we've had, uh, this is Kyron. You guys probably remember him from before. Kyron, he had about, I think, $3,500 last time I showed his uh his testimonial, but here is is him locking in on eleven thousand five hundred dollars, and this is from a client that he was able to acquire. Um, here is going to be some of the proof in the put-in coming from the guest you'll be hearing from soon, which is Mr. Josue Pena. Um, he's been I call him IG boss is what I have him saved as in my phone. So and he knows this personally, um, and this is one of his clients that he's been working with doing high ticket sales and uh, collected over $21,000 in less than seven days. And, and again, guys, this is all through Instagram hacking. Um, you can see Josue's comments down there with the fire, fire emojis. Um, this next person over here is David, who was also a high ticket salesperson who able to collect this amount, $19,400 in profit. And if you read the comments, it literally says he has about $5,000 yet to collect and so that's a total of over $24,000. So these are the types of numbers that we're going to be talking about, how to help you to do that. And if you guys are offering services like this for your clients, how to grow it properly. Last but not least is going to be Rafael. And I, and I know, you know, you know, Postway has a myriad of just testimonials that he can show you and talk about, but just a few that he shared with me was this. And so I just want to make sure that you guys understand. This is, um, again, Rafael, who was able to acquire about $133,000 in sales and collected 118 in profit. And this was all done in yes. Josue will expand more on that to tell you guys exactly how he was able to do that. And so with that being said, I want to let you guys know if you guys have not been uh, notified or don't know how to get notified, this is how you do it right now, right here. Um, easy said, just go ahead and click get all live notifications. If you guys are watching right now on Facebook, that's where you're going to click. If you're watching on YouTube, there's going to be a link in the comment section you guys will be able to see from our team that you guys can click on directly so you can watch live on YouTube. There is where we'll be giving away all the prizes. We give away cash prize of $100 directly to your PayPal. We also give away a free t-shirt, as you see there. And we also give away the new Kevin David book, The Unfair Advantage, if you guys already don't have it. And of course, the $100 winner is gonna be for those who comment the most and most engaged. And I get to be picking the winners right here live as you guys are watching. All right. And so again, a quick tip again. Um, let me see who else is on here. So we see who's hype with us right now. This is Eknem. What's up, Imran? What's up, Steven? Uh, what is going on, everybody? I see Michael Sanchez, Ziki. Oh, we got we got the house full today. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, all right. So next thing I want to show you guys here is going to be um, Josue. This is Josue on stage presenting as he normally does. Um, he's worked with some of the huge Huge names you guys are probably familiar with, um, and I'm going to be listing them down here um, right now. So Josue has worked with many, many two Comic Club winners and also two Comic Club X winners, mainly Kevin David, Dan De Silva, Dan Locke, Alex Becker, and he's been on the Grant Cardone show at least twice and also worked closely for, I guess, you, you guys probably know him, Mr. Russell Brunson, the CEO of ClickFunnels, and um, Todd Dickerson as well. And so he's had over six millionaires that came from his academy and also 55 who made over six figures. So if you guys want to learn something, this is going to be the show to help you to do that. And so without further ado, I'm going to be introducing my man to you, Mr. Josue Pena. What's going on, Josue? Can't hear you. There you go. I had a muted. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Perfect. So thank you so much for having me. Um, it's a pleasure, especially because um, well, we met, I don't know, like two years ago. Yeah, two years. Uh, in Vegas, we all had a great time. And, you know, we've been friends ever since. Yep. Uh, and, we, you know, I think your wife is Latina and, like, we're, we're from the same island. So, like, yep. you know, there's five <laughs> Kevin is my my homie, one of my best friends. Uh, I live in Miami. He recently moved to Miami, so yeah, it's been it's been great. So 
pleasure being here. Awesome, bro. Well, it was so happy to have you here. And also, I know that some of the people are going to be uh, asking a lot of questions in yeah. particular, helping with clients, because some of our people here that are watching are people who are starting agencies who have agencies and want to offer certain skills and certain kind of, I guess, services. And some of them are, are being asked, you know, are they able to run IG pages? And, and I know some of the questions are going to be like, how do I manage it properly? if I wanted to outsource and things like that. So we'll get into that. Uh, but we're going to ask a few questions about you guys. The way we're going to break this down is we're going to ask Josue just a little bit uh, about him. And then we're going to go into allowing him presenting to you guys his presentation that he's prepared, especially for you, and then how you can get in touch with him. And we'll ask all the questions you want. So be sure to ask your questions as we dive deep with this. For a few guys who, who are probably wondering um, if we give away, this is our last winner from last week or the last live we had is our giveaway. And we said, thank you so much for your appreciation for being you know, engaged in the live. And this is $100 sent to a relief fill. So just letting you know um, that we do actually send the money out. So if you want to stick around and, and, and win that, that's going to be your best bet. So Josue, um, talk to us, man. So I know you've been, you know, first off, I know that you were honestly, was a professional soccer player or that you were like prepping for a team? Yeah. So um, to give a little bit of context that people don't know, I started this entire social media thing because I wanted to become a professional soccer player. Um, and that's how everything started. Right. So I made I was playing semi pro here in the States in 2016, and I actually got the chance to be a pro. I never signed a contract to be a pro, but I got the chance to be one. Um, and at that moment, I had realized like the potential that was online business and like Instagram. And I went all in. So then after that, just, you know, things completely blew up. And yeah, so we're here. <laughs> um, that's, you know, a brief overview of kind of like everything that happened. But of course, like there has been a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. Uh, last year has been personally, not on the business side necessarily, but me personally tough. Um, several losses in the family and stuff like that. But, you know, that's part of life. But, you know, it's, it's really awesome to have people like yourself and like Kevin, um, who are really, really good friends and actually care about people. Yeah. Um, yeah. So here, just to share with you guys, um, a lot of the success stories, for example, that we have is people just like yourself who want to use Instagram as a lead generation tool for their own personal brands, right? Or they have clients and they want to manage Instagram pages for their clients. So it, it, it works either or, and that's what I'm going to be sharing here with you today. I was going to be super cool. Awesome, man. Yeah. So, um, was that transition just really quick before we dive into that presentation, was that transition going from doing what you believe that you wanted to do first and going into all in into Instagram, was that tough or how did you kind of combat that? So it was tough, by the way, if you hear a lot of background noise, there's like a humongous thunderstorm <laughs> yesterday, there was a tornado or something here <laughs> in Miami. Um, but yeah, it was, it was tough because I have worked for this year for 10 years or 12 years. Um, and I was at that moment where I could achieve it. And then I said, no, right? So people always say like, hey, follow your dreams, follow your heart, like your feelings, et cetera. And it's like, you gotta take that with a grain of salt because your heart and feelings change way too much. Um, so you gotta take a logical approach to things. Um, and that's the only possible way that you're gonna keep continuing moving forward and progressing, right? So, um, and again, like I was with Kevin this past Saturday, we were partying, we were having fun and I asked him, I remember like he liked DJing, right? Like playing DJ. I'm like, are you going to keep doing that? And he's like, yes, on the side, but like, I'm not going to do that full time, even though I like it, but it's because I have a lot of people that depend on me first and I have a successful business. So it doesn't make really much sense to me to follow my feelings or heart, even though that's what people preach, right? right. So it, it all comes down to what you really want to do in fulfillment. Um, and I'm with Kevin with that. you got to take a logical approach to things. So yeah. yeah, that's what I did. Um, and I'm glad I did because if it wasn't for that, I would have been. <laughs> awesome, man. I love yeah. it. All right. So that was a cool backstory. So now as we dive into the um, presentation, I know. So the, some of the questions were, that we're looking to answer through this, what kind of questions are we going to be able to answer through your presentation? What are you addressing? So, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to cover all that, but before I do, mm -hmm. before I, I want to just know how many followers the people have here on Instagram whether you're watching live or on the replay, because I know there's gonna, gonna be a replay, just comment down below how many followers do you have on Instagram? It can be, you know, a thousand or 10,000 or 5,000, 20, whatever the case may be. I just wanna know like what kind of like range, because I'm also gonna be checking the, the, the replay and like answering questions and stuff like that. So just comment below how many followers you have right now. 
on your Instagram. Um, for me, just you know, know who, what kind of people are we are we working with, and then also what's your biggest struggle with Instagram? Like, I'm gonna address everything, but I just want to know like what do people think Instagram is about, and what struggles do people think they have, right? So, um, yeah. Now let's get started, and I'm gonna address all your questions that you mentioned right here, right at the beginning. Um, so like, let me see, let me share my screen here real quick. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, give me one second. Do, 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 do. Let me share my screen. And if you guys be on the lookout, whenever we mention, uh, I'll let you know through the banner at the bottom after the presentation, uh, when we're gonna ask the trivia questions and be sure to be on the Kevin David, the more Kevin David YouTube page if you wanna join in on answering the trivia questions, because that is where we'll be asking for winners. And if you guys win on YouTube, we're gonna need you to comment your actual name on Facebook and communicate with us and how to reach out to us, okay? So if you wanna collect your winnings, because if you don't collect them in 24 hours, somebody else is gonna be winning it, all right? So just wanna let you know that. Um, yeah. So Jeremy, right. Jeremy's already asking. So, all right, so I'm gonna share your screen now. It's up and, yes, sir. Screen it, and you can go ahead and begin, my brother. All right, cool. I see. I see the comment like one billion followers. Sure, I'm sure. All right. All right. So today, um, I'm going to be showing you the six Instagram Infinity Stones to skyrocket your account while decimating your competition and monetizing your audience. Right. And the goal here is that you leave this presentation with a clear game plan to get your first or your next ten thousand followers, and most importantly, monetize them. All right. So again, I'm going to real quick. Yes, I have a real gauntlet with me right here right <laughs> it's the coolest thing you've ever seen okay um, i have a real gauntlet and that's what we're going to cover today the gauntlet and a potato i'm going to talk about here what the potato is about here in a bit i'm going to put this right here <laughs> um so what results can you expect right this is just one of our results in case studies uh this is uh, marco guerrero in spanish right he sold his first two thousand dollars yesterday right and this was in less than 24 hours after implementing the stuff that i'm going to show you and i know these numbers sound too good to be true but trust me it's not okay when you sell a high ticket and you use instagram the right way it's like magic okay so question for you how many here use instagram for business and how many followers do you have i asked that question before but now the next question is do you use instagram for business just comment yes or no whether you're watching live or on the replay um again i'll be checking out both the comments right here uh, there's another screen right here, um, all the comments, and then I'll also be checking the replay, right? So my big promise to you today is that I'm gonna show you that Instagram is not only for booty pictures and Lamborghinis, but also to build a successful online business, okay? Regardless of what you do, right? It can be chiropractors, dentists, personal brands, fitness, like I've seen, I've worked with clients that sell pigs, like mini pigs. What, that was the weirdest niche ever. <laughs> um, and it worked, right? He was, he was selling high ticket, $5,000 per pig. The micro pigs, right? Yeah, the micro pigs. It was, it was a very weird niche, right? But it worked <laughs> um, and people liked it. So who am I? Again, I'm from Dominican Republic. If I'm speaking fast, I'm sorry, is a Latin thing, right? Um, and we grew our company from zero to multiple seven figures uh, last year, actually in 2018. And again, my goal was to become a professional soccer player. In Dominican Republic, I trained with Dirk, Dirk Fields and that was a team he, um, in college back in Dominican Republic. I was there, you can see. Um, and then all of a sudden, here I am after graduating college, October 2014, working eight, or 12, eight to 10 hour shifts under the blazing Caribbean sun as a supervisor for an engineering company since I graduated from electrical engineering. And I also have an MBA, right? So the whole concept, I'm gonna address here parentheses real quick. The whole concept that you do not need college is true. Like, and this is not coming from somebody who dropped out. I have a master's degree, I have a, an engineering degree and an associate's. Like I have everything except a PhD. And I don't use those things at all, right? I'm not throwing rocks at college. You know, if you're a lawyer, doctor, et cetera, that might serve your purpose. But if you're here, you're trying to make money online, chances are college might not be for you, but that's your point, right? <laughs> just saying, just saying, coming from somebody who has experienced a very long Big experience, right? right? So in 2016, like I said before, I get the chance to become a pro thanks to Instagram and social media. My plan actually did work. You can still search my YouTube channel, and my Instagram, Elation Football and Elation Fitness. Um, you can see my videos there. Um, but then it, I decided it wasn't for me, so I decided to go all in 
on Instagram and skills that I have developed, right? And again, these are some of the results and uh, stuff that we have been able to do for ourselves. We have been featured in multiple uh, magazines, an entrepreneur, yada, 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 you know, the two comma club uh, thing as well. It's spoken on stage, et cetera. You know the drill. Now, the question is, you might be asking, okay, Osue, you achieved all that, but what did it cost you or what do you need to sacrifice, right? And like Thano said, it cost me everything. <laughs> um, but not really. But basically, in soccer, I broke broke both of my ankles, right? Um, that was me in my first internship job picking dirt bags. I had to freaking plant trees, right, in Dominican Republic and working at a farm. Um, and this was the little the little desk there. That was the little corner in a little tiny house in Indiana where I built the seven-figure business, okay? So you literally have no excuse. I come from a Puerto country. <laughs> uh, my place in Indiana was not ideal, but I still was able to make this happen, okay? So it cost me everything for sure. A lot of sacrifices, long nights. But here, what we're doing is just bringing you the gold so you don't have to go through all the troubles like I did, right? So uh, for me, the most important thing is his family. And the coolest part was it being able to impact my family in a positive way. Um, this is the first time I received Two Comma Club. I received it twice now. Um, and this was the first event in 2019 last year uh, when our parents, for the first time, were able to go there. And I remember my family was against me. So if you're young and your family's against you and they think you're crazy, I feel you, right? You're not the only one. I was there as well. As well. But now my parents see the fruits of my labor and they support it, right? So um, I remember and this. I will never forget this. My, my dad, as I came down from stage, he was like, I never thought um, this was this big. And I cannot believe I you try to stop you from doing that. And, and I'm sorry, right? So like that for me, just even today, just strikes very hard because I remember going through the sleepless lights, feeling alone, depressed, like I was crazy, um, but I kept pushing forward and now we're here. So if you're going through that same struggles, that's just part of the path, right? So now what kind of results? Here are just some of our pages. We have a lot, a lot of different pages. We own today over 20 million followers. Uh, here are just some of them. Um, here are some of the uh, influencers also that we co-own and work with. He owns the biggest art page on Instagram, Daily Arts, with over, I think, 8 million followers now. Darisa has over 2 million on Instagram and YouTube. Each one, Leah Lockward is an ingenious actress, and Diego Messina does magic tricks. We actually just filmed a course with him and uh, Ronald with art. So, um, yeah. Now, what kind of results do our clients get on a typical basis, right? You might be asking, well, Christian, right here, $5,000 per month, AKA recurring in less than one week with organic lead generation, right? Now, Adrian Conguero, $15,000 in 15 days after spending five hours learning this exact thing that I'm about to show you here today. Jonathan Rafael Vargas made $1.2 million and they had 30,000 followers at a time when they did this and they did it in the first half of last year alone, right? now. Again, ton of results and success stories. We also work with Ronaldinho when he launched that app there uh, through obviously my soccer page back in 2016. Alex Becker, Lady Boss, who is a $75 million company, Grant Cardone, Dan Locke, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You get the, you get the thing. Um, and again, we have over 6 million success stories or 55 people who have six figures and over 278 people have quit their jobs and collected. We have done in the online sales community as a whole over $27 million, which is super super awesome and i'm blessed to do that so let me just show you the cheat codes so you can become thanos and whoop the avengers ass okay so <laughs> <laughs> if you're ready for this just comment that letter x down below whether you're watching live on the replay again i just want to make sure that you guys are engaged because at some point in this presentation we're just going to do the trivia to give away a hundred dollars so just want to make sure you have your attention right so again comment the letter x down below if you're ready to get started and show you the little Thanos gauntlet and the six Instagram affinities so, right? So let's get started. Now, why Instagram? You might be saying, why Instagram? Why not YouTube? Why not Facebook? Why not freaking TikTok? That's apparently catching fire right now. Why Instagram above everything else? Well, it's very simple because everything you can possibly need or want to build a massive audience and heck of a lot of bread, AKA money, is there. DMs, right? Communication via text, email, chatbots, like direct message on Instagram have 100% open rate. You can do voice calls and voice messages. You can do video calls and personalized videos. You can do videos, pictures, stories that have urgency and scarcity built into them. Instagram Live, of course. IGTV video, long form content. Close friends, you can build a small community with just your paid clients and stuff like that. And now they also have a shopping cart 
if you have an e-com store with Shopify. So literally everything you can possibly need is on Instagram. Uh, you do not need anything else. And the clients that we show you, the money they make is without a funnel, without a website, nothing. Instagram story, I'm gonna show you. Instagram story, DMs, boom, all right? So it's all in one place. Now, let me just show you the six, the six Instagram infinity stuff. Now, this is a domino effect, all right? And I want you to pay close attention because if you don't get the first one right, you will not get the other one, like the last one right, all right? So comment the word domino. Again, I'm gonna be call, doing call to actions all the time just to make sure you have I have your attention. So comment the word domino if you're ready to get this ball rolling, right? So domino number one is market research. Simply model success. Now, let me just put you an example. If I were to put a coffee shop, obviously not now, in Corona times, but at normal times, right? If I were to put a coffee shop, would I just, you know, take a loan to the bank, find a random location, buy equipment, hire staff, and hope it works? Chances are, if you do that, that will be very, very stupid, right? Now, why do you think people do it, that exact approach on Instagram, right? Even though Instagram is free, right? Um, and that's the thing. People don't understand that in order for you to be successful in business, you need to analyze. There's a saying, um, I forgot who said it, but point is like, if I were to go cut down a tree in five hours, four of those hours, four of five of those hours, I would just sharpen my ax, right? And that can be studying, learning, but also analyzing and studying your competition, right? The person who wins the war is the one who studies the opponent the most and knows them like the back of their hand. So that's this exact same thing here. You need to understand what niche you're in, what business are you in, what industry are you in? And again, I just want to uh, no comment down below. I see a bunch of people commenting Domino, which is awesome. So just comment down below. What niche or industry are you in? Are you like in fitness for women, right? Um, and we're going to talk about more here in a bit, how to structure that. But I just want to know, what do you do? Um, and again, I forgot to mention this at the beginning. If you have somebody that this presentation might help and that you know they love Instagram, you share it with them or share it to your profile. Um, you know, it just helps with the Facebook algorithm. Um, and I'm doing this for free for you guys and you know don't don't be selfish share for free what you're being shared for free now what does this actually look like well simply search keywords and influencers in your space see what their posts when their posts what their bio looks like what CTAs do they have and what are they doing in the Instagram stories so for example um, let's just say you're in business entrepreneurship you have a personal brand and you uh, search Damon John right which funny enough we spoke on stage in October last year um, this is a little arrow right there on the top that you click and it shows related pages and you can just simply go from page to page to page to page, finding which are the influencers and the biggest pages in your specific niche. And then what you simply need to do is see what they post, right? See when they post, what their bio looks like and what CTAs do they have, right? What Instagram stories do their post and just model that, it, right? It's not rocket science. Just model what works. Now, what does this actually mean? Now, after you research the keywords, after you research the influencers, after you know all that stuff, you next find what I've called BPPs or best performing posts, okay? Best performing posts. And what are these are? These are posts that perform above average. So for example, on my page, um, if I get, I don't know, a thousand likes a picture, something that gets above a thousand is a BPP. So when you're doing your market research and you find an influencer page, you see what the average post, like the likes and comments is. And then from that, you see which ones go viral. Simple as that. BPP means content that goes viral. Um, and then what you do, you simply model that. It can mean replicating the same video with your own voice. It can mean just reposting that page or that picture on your page and crediting, crediting the original creator. Um, it can mean redesigning the infographic, right? In my case, for example, this, this picture right here, sell me, can you sell me this pen? Got over 20,000 likes and over a thousand comments. And these are like long comments, right? So, cause people are like, hey, like, can you sell me this pen? Like people are just commenting like this, those, their sales pitch. So BPPs is exactly this, right? This isn't making sense, by the way. I just wanna know, comment makes sense. If this is making sense and no, if it doesn't, uh, I just wanna know, cause I wanna make sure everybody here is understanding and again, uh, if you, I, I forgot to say that at the beginning. If you're watching on the replay, just comment the hashtag replay. It will let us know uh, that you're watching on the replay, of course. And if you're commenting, if you're watching live, just comment the, the hashtag, hashtag live, right? So um, I see all the industries that people are in. Okay, cool. 
Um, by the way, I'm seeing everything and every single one of the industries you guys mentioned works like crazy on Instagram, right? Now, now we focus on what I call the three Ps. Now, I asked you before what niche you were in, right? The three Ps is exactly this. Now, person, problem, promise, right? Instead of you just simply saying, hey, I'm in the um, health and beauty industry or the cosmetic industry, you should be thinking like this, person, problem, promise, right? Now, basically it's who do you help, person, what problem does your product or service solve, and what promise or result does your product and service give them, right? So let me give you an example. Now, Lady Boss, right? Here's, they're one of our uh, success stories and our clients. Now, again, they're a multi-million dollar business. So if this works for you, for them, this works for you too. Um, and again, sorry for throwing the storm to the humongous, uh, I don't know, storm in here. So they help women lose weight while loving themselves again. That th That's their three P statement, right? Now, person is women. Problem is weight. And promise is love themselves again, right? You saw, you see how simple is that? Person, woman, problem, weight, promise, love themselves again, right? So we help women lose weight, all of this, like, right? Um, and again, I, I want to hear, I want you guys to hear this uh, testimonial. This is from the CEO of the company, Brandon Pooling, who's a good friend of mine. Um, I don't know if you hey, can hear what's that. up, guys? So my you name is Brandon Poulin. I'm the CEO of Lady Boss. And uh, I just want to make this quick video to share my thoughts on Josue. He's a good friend of mine. Um, we met just through the industry, and uh, he really helped me get my uh, my sights set on kind of how we were going to take over Instagram. And I've never met someone who knows more about the details and is more kind of hands-on with it and really understands how the platform works. And so he's, he's really given us a lot of really helpful direction and in terms of what to look for and tactics and strategies. And, um, you know, we were doing some Instagram advertising, but he helped us really focus our, our, uh, our sites on influencers. And, um, you know, since starting to work with him and really taking some of our team and, and, and having their focus be on Instagram, uh, we've grown our following over 50 K and that's like real people. The engagement's gone up through the roof. Um, and, uh, and we do uh, at least six figures in, in organic Instagram revenue every single month. Um, and so Josue has been, been a, been a big help and a big part, um, of, of helping, uh, you know, direct us in the right way and learn. And like, there's so many different things on Instagram and little nuances that you don't realize. Um, he's really good at seeing those out. So I'm always asking him, Hey, what do you see? What do you learn now? And, uh, and so I appreciate him. He's an awesome dude to work with. And uh, you'd, be, you'd be lucky to work with him for sure. And he knows his stuff. So uh, there's a lot of gurus uh, out there um, and a lot of information. Let's just put it that way. And uh, and his information comes from experience. So um, definitely if you get a chance to work with him, I totally do it. All right. So I'm going to keep sharing success stories so that you understand how important market research is, um, no matter what level you're in, right? Right? No matter if you're a multi-million dollar company or if you're starting from scratch. Now, this is uh, Rachel Peterson. Again, over 13 million impressions in the last seven days. And for her webinar, she generated over 800 leads in less than 48 hours organically. Right. Um, this is another one right here. I worked to some extent, made over $30,000. Right. Made $30,000 from a simple Instagram page. Now, Infinity Stone number two. The most important one was the number one market research. But number two is content. The content creation cycle. What I'm about to show you always allows you to create with what is in it for me, meaning you got to think of your followers in mind. Stop posting weird cat pictures that had nothing to do with your business, all right? Meaning if you have, I don't know, a marketing agency, right? Stop posting what you ate for lunch. Nobody cares, right? People are following you for your marketing advice and your sales advice. If you have a cosmetic page, stop posting, I don't know, the freaking food you eat because you don't have a food blog unless you're a cook. Stop posting that. Or unless in the cosmetic industry, you're talking about how food relates to skin or something like that, right? Now, let me show you how to easily break the content cycle down so yeah, you don't have to figure out what to post, when to post, stuff like that. Again, you did the market research already, so you should know your market pretty well. And you should know what to post. But this is just going to help you get you know a little bit extra. So on day one, you're going to post something of interest. Demonstrate authority. Content that demonstrate authority, right? Your content should be... RIA results in advance, right? For example, it can simply be 
25 tips on how to lose belly fat if you're in the fitness industry. And if you don't know and you can't come up with something, just Google it, right? Search a blog, 25 tips on X, and post one tip a day and just put it in your one words. That's it. Simple as that, right? Now, proof, success stories, your clients, what kind of results are you promising? Again, the proof is in the pudding. So um, if you don't have any results yourself, you can just say, hey, my buddy or mentor did this and got this results. We could do this for you as well, right? And then you have the call to action. So you can simply say, hey, my buddy mentor got this result. Why? Love it when our strategies, again, our strategies help people crush it. And then your CTA, then message me, comment below, etc. right? You can also post pictures of books. <laughs> this is a, a funny analogy uh, from one of our friends, uh, Jason Capital. He said, um, do you think Ty Lopez reads a book a day? No, like nobody, like no. Like, do you actually think he reads a book a day? Chances are no, but he's known for that, right? He just posts pictures with books in the background and stuff like that, which makes him feel or look more intelligent, right? So the same thing, you want the perception that people have from you to be high standard. So post pictures with books, right? Proof of whatever, your show numbers, proof that you are an expert. On day three, just post demonstrations, samples of your work. If you go to Sam's Club, or Walmart or Myers, right? There's people always on the aisle saying, hey, would you like to try X, Y, Z? And typically it's just like a new product or a new drink that they want to sell. Same thing here. You want to show samples of your work uh, before and after for clients. If you have a fitness industry or cosmetic, you can show the before of your clients and then the after of your clients. Trust, likability. This is number four, right? Trust is not logical. I need to say this. The fact that you trust trust somebody doesn't mean, really mean that it makes sense, right? So for example, what makes you trust somebody? Well, it's your gut feeling. Your gut feeling is not something logical, right? It's emotional. So same thing here, something that builds trust, puppies, <laughs> uh, pictures with family, pictures with friends, something that makes you look human, things in common and show similar values. Simple as that, right? Um, because people relate to people. Doesn't matter if you make a ton of money and you are, a, you know, a psychedelic robot. Like for example, I'm not saying he is, but Lord Zuckerberg, right? Um, people uh, make fun of him because they say he's an alien or a lizard, right? Even though he has family. So you don't want to be Zuckerberg in that sense. Um, just want to show you're related, like you're relatable, if that makes sense, right? So how does this work when you actually apply the content piece? Boom, right? Seventy-five, oh, 752 new likes in the last post on the two hours, right? Now, um, I'm not gonna go through the system ones because it's just gonna make this super long, but basically this is an app, Color Switch, and their page, we blew them up to like 100 or 20,000 followers, I don't even remember, in like 30 to 60 days. And Color Switch is an app that's really, really famous, promoted by Steve Aoki and a bunch of other celebrities. So, um, Infinity Stone number three is consistency. You gotta post every single day. The more you post, the more you grow, as simple as that, right? So just to make sure that you're keeping close attention and you're sharp, comment at number three down below, whether you're watching live or on the replay, just to make sure that you're paying close attention because we are in infinity number three, right? Infinity stone, Instagram infinity stone number three, All right? So post every single day, the more you post, the more you grow. Now, let me just do some math here. I'm an engineer, so I'm just gonna do some math. Let's just say you post one time a day and you get 5,000 impressions on your post. If you post four times a day, you get 20,000 impressions. If you multiply that by 30, that's 600,000 impressions per month for free. And the exponential growth is over a million. So you will be able to reach 1 million people for free by simply posting four times more. That's the power that Instagram organic has right now. And obviously when you combine it with influencer marketing campaigns and with Instagram ads, things just take a whole different level, right? So consistency, posting every single day. I suggest using a software tool called Social Potato to ease the pain, uh, which is the gauntlet and the potato that I was talking about. Uh, it allows you to schedule content in advance so you don't have to post it with your phone. It posts it automatically right there on the platform, right? So socialpotato.com is there for you. Now, again, you can check out the entire calendar for the full month. You can have it there. Now, how powerful is this? Now, this is one of our successful case studies. His name is Alex Wilkie. For those that think that you need to have your own page with your own face all the time, you don't, right? If you have a cosmetics page, this is a perfect example for you to follow, right? Beautify Basics right now is over a million followers. And Alex started this page, I don't know, like 18, 20 months ago. Um, and he's a dude, six foot, six, six foot, 
beard, like huge, right? He's nothing, like doesn't look like a beauty fashion blogger at all. But yeah, he has a 1 million follower page in the beauty industry. Now, how is this and why is this? He's simply repurposing content and crediting the original creator. And now what he did is he partnered up with another person to help him run the personal branding aspect on the page, which is smart. So he runs the business operations and then Maddie or Kennedy uh, runs the actual, you know, beauty and stuff like that on the page. But this is after you become big, but you can still, you know, he grew this page to 1 million followers very fast like this. All right. So no, this is making sense, by the way, I want to make sure uh, this, this is making sense. All right. Just comment the number one, if this is making sense or comment number two, if it's not, if you have any questions, uh, just post them down below as well. I'm going to be responding here live. And then also uh, in the replay, I'm going to be responding to questions. Um, now, Infinity Stone number four is networking. And this is the gasoline on the fire. And this is something I need to you know, emphasize a lot. My success on business has been entirely predicated in these three things. I learned a valuable skill set, right? Instagram, which I'm teaching you here today, Instagram. Number two, I focused on it. I didn't do Instagram and something else. I just did Instagram. That's what people know me for, even though I do a lot more stuff. But people only know me for Instagram stuff. And then three is networking. This is the Infinity Stone number four. Now, what does this actually mean? Well, it means that in 2017, when Kevin was starting out, I actually became very good friends with him and became homies, right? We went partying um, in September 2017 where we actually met. And then in 2018, we went partying in the ClickFunnels event. And that's, you know, then a year later, we met Drew. I met Drew. And then it just snowballs from there, right? I come from a Potewa country. English is not my first language. I should be the underdog. Like, I shouldn't even be here. But yeah, I am. And it is the reason, like, only those three things. Skill, focus on one skill set, develop it, focus on it, and network with the right people. That's it, right? So on Instagram, is exactly the same way. Networking is the gasoline on the fire. The first three Instagram affinity stones that I just talked to you about are the foundation, right? And what does this actually look like? Now, leverage other people's assets for your benefit. They work hard for years and you can have instant access to all that traffic right away by simply paying for it. So for example, you simply go to the exact same influencers you researched on Infinity Stone number one and you just ask them, hey, how much do you charge for a promotion? Boom. You instantly are able to reach 100,000 people and if you're at creative and you're, you know, the video or picture is good, you can blow up like crazy. I remember, actually, Drew, you were there in Vegas, right? Yep. I, oh, this is, this is a perfect example. So we were in Vegas. Uh, what was this, 2018? Yes, summer, May, actually like two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. We, were, we were in Vegas um, <laughs> being vegans, right? So I might run crazy and stuff like that. And <laughs> we go out to a strip or like old Vegas, I think it was. And then we, you know, randomly see a kid. Fremont Street. Oh yeah, that one, Fremont, right? Just rapping, right? Just yeah. freestyling. And we're like, <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what I did, right? We literally tipped, <laughs> we tipped the, 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 the guy, like his name is Dylan Jake, and we became good friends after, but we tipped him like over $2,000, I think it was. So, like between me, Kevin, like you, like a bunch of people started just throwing money at him, right? He, he's used to like $1 bills. We were throwing like 20, 100, because <laughs> we just, uh, left the casino after winning actually in craps, I think it was, right? Mm -hmm. So what I did was I took my phone, right? And I recorded him. And then what I did was I just, for free, right? Cause I loved the guy. I, you know, it just reminded me of Eminem and I just wanted to help. I recorded a video of him freestyling, posted it on Instagram and paid an account at rap, right? I actually have a completely case study on my YouTube channel. You can search it, Jose Peña um, or online sales. Uh, later on so you can see everything that went into it but basically it just it was as simple as hey i so filmed a good video created a good video and the title and on top it's a uh, 16 year old rapper freestyles i posted it on the account at rap it blew up he grew ten thousand followers in the first 24 hours from there he went on to be on the four which is like america's got talent for rappers twice with p dd and fat joe twice and he blew up to 150,000 followers. He's been in TV shows. Uh, he signed like a bunch of like crazy stuff happened after that, right? He grew 10,000 followers in 24 hours and I paid 300 bucks for that. 300 bucks 
10,000 followers in 24 hours using a big account and big influencer in the niche. But here's the important part with a good creative or app creative. The video was good. His freestyling was amazing. And I did a small spelling mistake on the title. Instead of saying rapper with one P, I put rapper with, instead of rapper with two P's, I put rap, rapper with one P. So it doesn't say rapper, it says raper. So it technically read 16 year old raper freestyles, right? But obviously that, because of that, people commented a lot more, <laughs> and, <laughs> right? Um, and it was an honest mistake, I promise you. But the point is that perfect action is the best kind of action. I had no idea it was gonna happen. Um, and, <laughs> uh, it was kind of funny. So that's kind of like the idea um, of how you do it, right? You have good app creative, your account is optimized, you have good content, you post it on a big page that already spent hours on end and years maybe building that asset and you can leverage it out by simply paying for it and you can be in front of the audience instantly. For example, Facebook ads, what did Zuckerberg do? He built a massive audience on a platform called Facebook and then he's able to sell ads to everybody in the world. Same thing here. Those influencers build a page of a massive audience in a specific niche and you simply have to pay to access that audience. That's it, right? This is making sense, by the way. Just comment on number one if this is making sense and on number two if it isn't. I wanna make sure that you guys are understanding everything that I'm saying, right? So, an example right here, in travel, Justin Holland, 137,000 followers and over $38,000 in the last 30 days, right? Now, networking, this is one of my favorite stories and one of our favorite success stories. Um, this is Ruben right here, right? He was fired from Disney, right? And he loves, he, he's an artist, right? He loves making rings. Before he was making $400 per month. And he lives in LA, which is very expensive. $400 a month, right? He implemented this exact stuff that I'm about to, I'm showing you both on growth and monetization. And it completely changed his life. Now he's able to make $5,000 in less than 24 hours and from a single promotion with 30 bucks. So he pays an influencer 30 bucks, right? And then from there, the influencers promotes his page and because of the traffic that's coming in, he's able to make $5,000. He's able to do this repeatedly, right? And he sells ranks. So don't tell me you can't do it in your niche. Right. Now, this one right here is on another one of our favorite ones. His name is Michael. Man, I can tell you how happy I am as a 37 year old father that I hit rock bottom right as I found this out. My drive is insane and I am blessed by the community and you have yourself a loyal supporter. Uh, supporter. This page has made me be able to pay my rent when I was going to get evicted. As a father, you can't really express the kind of gratitude to somebody or a group who was just believing you could do it. All it took was you guys telling me I don't need permission to have value. Now, this is why I do what I do, right? We have a successful agency online sales, but this is the reason why I'm even here teaching you guys here today for free, right? I, I want that you guys are able to go out there and implement and have success and then come back and say, hey, let's say, because of the, you know, the stuff you told me um, with Drew and on Kevin's channel and yada yada, I was able to do this, 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 this. That's what I absolutely love because I, I would have loved to have that back when I started. I started in 2011, 2012, and it took me four to five years to see a single dollar. Think about that, hmm. right? And your family against you and your friends against you and everybody thinking you're crazy for four to five years straight without making a single penny. And September 13, 2016, my first paying client for 3,500 bucks. So it just goes to show you that you can do it. Um, and that's the reason why I do what I do, right? So again, I'm not gonna show this testimonial. This is Kevin back when it started. Uh, we grew his page for $35,000 in the, the 35,000 followers in the very first month. And of course you see now how big his Instagram page is. And uh, he's a very good friend. Um, honestly, one of my best friends, he's literally like a brother to me, right? So number five, number five, Instagram is finished. So number five is the hitting hidden selfie funnel, what we've called the IG story funnel or IG story webinar funnel, okay? And this is by far the most important piece that you can have right now. And before I you know, show the, this stuff, I asked before, how many followers do you have? I wanna ask now, how many Instagram story views do you get? Just comment below how many Instagram story views do you get? Uh, Cause I wanna know, and I'm, and like, I'm gonna show you cold heart proof right now that this thing works like crazy, right? So again, just comment below, how many Instagram story views did you get on average on 24 hour? It can be 100, 200, 5,000, whatever. Uh, I just wanna know how many story views do you get, okay? So 
let's talk some numbers while I see the comments come through, right? Now, let's just say you have 5,000 followers. I see a bunch of followers, people commenting before. Um, so the average, what I saw was about 5,000, right? Some people had 1,000, some people have more, but I'm just gonna say 5,000, right? So with 5,000 followers, on average, you should have anywhere from 200 to 500 views per story, right? Somewhere around there. If you have a little bit less, it means your account is not really optimized and you need to work on it. Now, let's just call it 200 to 500 views per story, right? Now, when you do a call to action on Instagram stories, you should see anywhere from five to 10% on a call to action, meaning swipe up or message me or vote right here, whatever the case may be, right? Five to 10%, meaning that you get anywhere from 10 to 50 DMs or leads that are highly interested in your stuff in 24 hours, right? And this one high ticket deal means at a minimum at 3,000, it means $3,000 in 24 hours. And then tomorrow we repeat again, right? This is the process of why, for example, Rafael that uh, Drew was showing did $133,000 in profit. Not, by the way, you said revenue. It was profit, not oh, revenue. Okay. Yeah. It was profit in the first 60 days right there on the screen. It was profit. It was not revenue. It was like, you know, the, the dropshipping gurus. No, it was profit <laughs> cash bank, $133,000 in profit. John Castle, the other testimony that you showed, right? He did $21,000 collected. It was $35,000 in sales and profit, but $21,000 in the bank cash in seven days, right? And this is why when you sell high ticket stuff, you need less deals and you make more money, higher profit margins, and your the quality of the client that you attract is a lot more, okay? So let's just break some numbers. Again, you close just one single deal at 3K, is $3,000 in 24 hours, right? So what does this hidden funnel on Instagram stories actually look like? This is as simple as that. First, we tell a story, right? Then we give some value. Then we hook them. Then we put some testimonials. We put a poll to pre-frame the offer, and then we do the CTA, and then we follow up on the apps, okay? So, by the way, this is completely separated, but I suggest that every single person right here journals, okay? Now, this is my journal right here, right? You can see that I have pages and pages and pages and pages and pages of me journaling. Why do I do that, right? It is because you're able to tell stories. Now, Instagram stories, obviously, you gotta tell stories to make it you know, appealing. So I'm gonna give you a simple example of how you can turn anything mundane into your business and tie it up, okay? So, now I'm gonna go into character. Imagine I'm in the, on Instagram stories, right? Imagine I have my phone right there, boom. So, um, the other day, I took an Uber. Right? And I was super tired. I just wanted to fall asleep in the back end of, an Uber, of the Uber as I was on my way to the airport. But the Uber just kept talking and talking and talking and talking. It was freaking annoying. It was it was insane, right? Has this happened to you? Vote yes or no. Heck yeah. Right? Everybody has gone through this, right? Oh my God. So when I got off, I rated him two stars, not because the Uber was bad, because it was fine, but because the guy would not stop talking. I did not want to talk. I had my headphones on. He just wouldn't stop, right? So let me ask you something. How many of you here are doing that exact same thing on Instagram? How many of you feel that your followers are not only not hearing you, but are unfollowing you? And if they could unlike your pictures, they will unlike your pictures too, <laughs> right? So how many of you feel that you're struggling to get your followers' attention? So if that's you, just message me, comment down below the word Uber, and I'll send you back over the details to see how we can help you solve that problem. You see how I tied something completely mundane and random like an Uber into my own business and my agency, right? So I suggest you do exactly the same thing and you document something simple, right? If that's called copyright, right? You're gonna become better and better and better as time goes on. You're gonna be able to create stories on the fly. But at the beginning, I suggest you write in journal, right? So again, story, value, hook, testimonials, post CTA, and then follow up on the apps. I'm gonna show you how that looks, okay? So this is Ladybots, right? I lost 60 pounds, this was me. She's telling her story, right? Now, next, she's putting the polls, pre-framing the offer, right? Do you struggle with losing weight? If you go to her to her stories and you see her do this, you're gonna see that 70, 80, even 90% of people vote yes, because they follow her because of that same reason. So you're not doing an Instagram story completely unrelated, right? So do you struggle with losing weight? Yes. Do you struggle with not having confidence? Yes, and she asked multiple more polls 
pre-framing the offer and pre-framing the audience. So she says for 24 hours only, this is what you're going to get. Boom. She does the stack or the offer that she's offering. Swipe up. Boom. It takes it to the funnel and boom, right? She posts testimonials, swipe up, more testimonials, and that's it, right? As simple as this. Now, what you can do if you don't have 10,000 followers, because I know a lot of people don't have 10,000 followers, is that I see a lot of people commenting Uber. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you can see the example clearly works, right? So um, what you can do if you don't have 10,000 followers and you don't have the swipe up feature is that you simply tell people, hey, DM me this word if you want X, Y, Z. I actually just did this right before this call. You can check my Instagram stories just to see how I actually do this, right? I just simply say, hey, you want this result? Just message me this keyword and I'll get you back with the over the details. As simple as that, okay? So you can do this no matter if you have 10,000 followers or if you have 100 followers. You can do this the same way and I suggest you start doing it because if you sell high ticket, this is gonna help you tremendously, right? So um, this is another one of our students, Jose. <laughs> I actually was shaming him. I'm that kind of a teacher and mentor. Um, I'm a little bit rough in the edges, right? So Jose was shaming me on IG, so I had to, to make a sale. This is my low ticket offer, and I just had to make them, um, basically he's, he's a course, he's selling a course, right, with a Slack channel. So I know it's not high ticket, but you can't beat $1,000 in less than five minutes of work. You can right there. Right there, you can see this clearly works, right? So basically, another way that you can do the IG story funnel is what we call 5130, right? 5130 makes, basically it goes like this. I have, I'm looking for five people, want to get this one result in the next 30 days. Right, very simple. I'm looking for five people who want to lose 25 pounds in the next 60 days. I'm looking for three people who want to, you know, have a clearless skin in the next 30 days. If you have selling cosmetics, so this works very well and allows you to have a very easy to remember five one thirty, five people or X amount of people, one result, X time frame. Five people, one result, 30 days. All right, so very simple. Now. Let me show you right here. I'm look right now. I'm looking for five spots, making anywhere from three thousand to to five thousand dollars a month. I put some results. Message me the word Graham sales, and I'll get you back over with the details. Okay. The very first month, we this was a completely new offer. We did over fifty thousand dollars in profit just from this. Okay, when we launched it. Now, this is exactly Dave that you saw previously. He made nineteen thousand dollars. He told me I was actually you know uh, with Kevin as well and him last Friday or last Saturday. I mean, he told me that during Corona, right now. He made over fifteen thousand dollars in profit last month. Okay, there, Dave was a bartender before, and he's never sold or anything <laughs> high ticket. But yet he's closing thirty four hundred dollar deals. Right. So basically, <laughs> it's sliding into those DMs. Right. <laughs> if you remember, basically the way it works is Instagram story and DMs. This is the number six. Right. Six Instagram Infinity Stone, and this is how you do it. Now. I want everybody to comment DMs right now because this is extremely crucial and this is where 90% of your money is going to be made in the DMs, okay? It goes down in the DMs and you gotta slide in the right way to make that happen, okay? So just comment DMs down below whether you're watching live or on the replay and let's get going. Um, so yeah, by the way, do you wanna do the trivia question right now before we dive in? I can do the one. I, I didn't wanna interrupt your um, presentation. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's do one before you continue. If we can catch a quick break, everybody's been. If you guys are drop, getting some value from this, if you guys already haven't liked this live right now, go ahead and hit the like or give us a heart right now. Give Jose some love yeah. because he's been dropping some gems for you. Um, I think I, I, want, I want everybody to to hit the like button because I know on live you can hit it multiple times. Just hit it ten times. Every single one of you. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the live. Yep. <laughs> hit it ten times. Ten times, yep. ten times each, guys, because um, the, the knowledge that he's dropping, I know it's a lot of times it's a little difficult to grow on Instagram. So one of the things that we're going to do is keep this trivia Instagram privy. If you guys haven't already made your way over, I'm only taking answers from the Kevin David YouTube channel right now, the More Kevin David channel. Um, our folks, our supports is going to be dropping the link for the, uh, the YouTube uh, link right now. So I want you to go ahead and click on that. Once you guys get over there, we're going to be asking the question in probably about five seconds because I know there's a little bit of delay here. Okay. The question is, and I actually know what to make it easier for everyone. I actually wrote down the questions here so you guys can see it. Number one question is going to be for a shirt. Question is, what year did Facebook acquire Instagram? What year did Facebook acquire Instagram? 
head over to the YouTube. I want you guys to go ahead and check that out and go ahead and respond there. Um, the first person to get the answer correct is going to be the one who's going to be the winner for the free t-shirt giveaway. All right. So, nope. And Serene is answering in, on Facebook. So I can see whether you guys answer on YouTube or Facebook. So, yeah. In 2002, I think barely the internet was created. All right, right. It was like people worried about Y2K and stuff. <laughs> that time. It was like like Hotmail and Messenger and like like not even MySpace was made. I think back was then. AOL even out there. I don't Probably. even know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you can go ahead and um uh, and continue, Hostway. Once someone answers with the right question um, or the right answer, I should I should go ahead and um tell you who won. All right. Cool. All right. So. This slide into those DMs with a six Instagram Infinity Stone, right? So, how powerful is this? By the way, this works not only on Instagram, but also on Facebook. Ross, right here, received over 50 messages on Facebook of people being interested in becoming an Instagram client, okay? This works extremely, extremely crazy well, right? So, Wendy, mother, right? Closing $5,000 deals left and right without any following at all in less than 60 days after learning this, right? JR blew his agency i know a lot of people are agency owners from 2.5k to 10k in a single month using this stuff right so jimmy made an extra three thousand dollars from a post that took him five minutes to write rafael again the first seven days by the way when he started working with us he made twenty seven thousand dollars in the first seven days in the first 30 days he did forty two thousand dollars and by the way he was already experienced selling courses but he was never selling high ticket and this was a lot more profitable for him because this is all profit in the first 30 days and then in the first 60 he did hundred thirty three thousand dollars in profit which is insane okay so this is just uh, a bit of testimony from him i'm not gonna play it uh just because it does make it you know it's gonna make it too long all right so hansel another one very small following he lives in vegas like supporting a little bit too uh, too much in the first five days he made three thousand dollars he decided to be a little bit lazy Clearly says it. I didn't give it my all because I had lost motivation, but forced myself to take action either way. But I have momentum now. Thanks, mm. Even like that, he made seventeen thousand dollars in profit in the first thirty days. Okay, think about that. He quote unquote failed and made seventeen grand profit. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool failure. Now, after he took momentum and after he went balls deep, he did this, right? I want to make me 11K in one day off of one story. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you so much. That was the best day of my life, too. <laughs> well, I reached it. That's so awesome. I had no idea. I'm always just like sitting around, just like. So that was actually in Vegas last year in the EDC. I was with Kevin, the, the guy who said, boom, that, that was actually Kevin. That's um, <laughs> telling him. Yeah. So again, this thing works like crazy and extremely, extremely well, right? So, um, and he's made a lot more than that, right? I'm not gonna play this one, but he's made a lot more than that. But that day he just made so much that it was like super impactful. Now, the question is, how do you then manage, organize, track the customer journey of all those DMs? Because it's literally insane the amount of leads you're gonna get from this, right? So in my case, right, swiping up, we get over 500 clicks and this is just one of our accounts. We have multiple of them in both English and Spanish. This is a Spanish one. Um, and this is what our typical DMs look like, right? Um, they they literally blow up all the time. Like my DMs are lit <laughs> all the time, and it becomes very very challenging to manage everything, right? Um, and the cool part about Instagram, even if you have small following, when you put a poll, you can see the people who vote yes and no. So what you can do is is message the people who vote yes that they're interested in what you have to offer. Okay. So on socialpotato.com, uh, there's a CRM built in which allows you to put in columns, right? Similar to a CRM or the active campaign or infusion soft, I was to put in columns so you can see exactly who you should talk to and you can chat directly from your computer, which is something super, super awesome. So again, socialpotato.com. Um, and it allows you to manage that. And what do you actually happens when you do the DMs in the right way? Well, check this out. Our XV ranks, that's Ruben, the guy I showed you here uh, earlier today, eight to 10 sales per week, high ticket, five, hundred dollars plus each one for little rings right and before all this stuff it was one every two weeks he was making two sales a month mm. two and now he's making eight to ten right because this thing 
works like crazy. All right. So again, I just showed you the gauntlet with the six Instagram affinity stones and the potato, which is socialpotato.com um, for you to use and have amazing results with it. Okay. Social potato, like I said before, allows you to schedule content, um, organize full campaigns on autopilot, put the link in bio, take it down. Um, for those that don't know, like I'm, this is going to be a little bit of a story. Um, this screenshot right here of the Stripe account is very, very special for me. If you see the date, that's 2017. This is like a month before I met Kevin uh, for the first time. And back then I was going bankrupt. Okay. The business like was going and I, you know, it was a partnership. We split yada, yada, yada. And like long story short, I had $3,000 in bank account. Expenses were five and I had to figure out in about two to three weeks. And what I did was Instagram story DMs to Manny chat, right? Back then there was no Instagram stories or swipe up with DM or polls or any of that. I just did Instagram to Manny chats. And in less than 24 hours, you can see right there, July 3rd to July 4th, we did over $11,000, $11,000. And it was simply with posts like this. Okay. You want to build muscle fast, click link in bio, right? Learn how to grow your Instagram, click link in bio. Free Instagram training today, click link in bio. I was pushing people to a webinar and I sold them there. 24 hours it took me, $11,000 were made, which was absolutely insane. And that $11,000 saved my butt. And actually those $11,000 paid the flights for me to meet Kevin. And then, you know, fast forward two, three years after we're here today. So it's crazy to think how like the ripple effects that your decisions and the small things have in your life, right? So again, these are some results, 800 clicks to our website. Um, this is a Spanish account that we have. Um, the opt-in rate, you can see right here, 68, almost 69%, over 2,000 leads in two days, right? We're, that's on a typical basis. We're also, in social potato, you're also able to create captions, save it at manage multiple accounts for those people that have multiple clients. It allows you to do that, create hashtags, full in-depth analytics, uh, targeted growth and lead generation on auto, and of course, the CRM side of things, um, and also repost and upload BPPs as well, right? So question, I know uh, I wanted to finish this because I want to go into the Q&A and answer all your questions, but that I keep my promise at the beginning that I was going to show you exactly how not only you can grow your account at least 10,000 followers, but also profit from it very, very easily by selling products and services, especially a high ticket. Did I keep my promise that I made at the beginning? I just want to know, yes, comment yes down below if I kept my promise or no, if I didn't. And if you comment no, I want to know why. Okay. <laughs> I want to know why. Um, but yeah, so that I keep my promise. Um, I want to know um, to see if you guys liked it or not, right? Um, awesome, bro. Yo, uh, I think you, get, you dropped so much. You have more slides here? Um, actually, there's just a couple more questions. Who here is going to implement this right away in the next 24 hours? I see a bunch of yeses coming through. Cool. So I want to know, if you're going to implement this in the next 24 hours, I want you to comment 24 down below right now. The, the, the number is 2424. Comment down below. Um, and also, um, who can tell me the six Instagram Infinity Stones that I gave you here today? The first person who comments it down below, I'm just going to do – this was not planned at all. I'm just going to do some random giveaway myself. I'm just going to give away my, my Instagram course <laughs> that people can access. Um, I'm just going to give away – for the first person who can tell me the six Instagram Infinity Stones. Again, it has to be one comment, not six. Just one comment, the six Instagram Infinity Stones in one comment, okay? Awesome. And while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna, we have a winner for the uh, first giveaway that we did, and it is uh, Loving World. Loving World, congratulations. Please do me a favor. Go ahead, back on the, uh, you know, you can reach out to me on Facebook at Drew Romeo. Um, so we can go ahead and get you because folks, the, the uh, chat in YouTube does not last after the, you know, during the replay. So go ahead and message me at Drew Romeo and make sure you send us uh, screenshots. You'll be getting a link that's going to allow you to, if some of our supports can go in there and respond to give you a link right now. So you can go ahead and fill out the form so you can claim your prize. Okay. And it's going to be for the free t-shirt. So congratulations on that. Josue's um, going to be getting, doing a free giveaway right now for himself. Um, yeah. He said, whoever can name all six 
of the Infinity Stones that he uh, went through his whole presentation and told you exactly what to do for each step. If you can list that all out, he has a giveaway that he's going to give you as well. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, By the way, I see a comment here. I just want one decent page to make an okay leaving, living. I feel dumb and old. Uh, Serene, don't say that. Like, Ruben, it's 70. Like, he is 70, right? The guy who was selling like one ring every two weeks, he's 70. He was fired from Disney, mm. right? He was fired from Disney and he's 70 years old and he's crushing it on Instagram right now. So, like, you can still do it. Uh, the whole concept of like my millennials only, yada, yada, yada. Like, that's not true. You can still crush it. Um, all you got to do is just follow the process that we showed you here today and you'll be good. Um, I see another one, Instagram Manage Chat. So you created a Manage Chat webinar butt funnel. Yes, exactly. Um, that's what we did, Debbie. Uh, I got, I, I'm going to go from the top down to make sure we don't miss anybody and I'll rank and I'll put all the questions up there so we can all see them together. Everybody can learn. And then, so the next one is uh, Ekman. It says, "How to grow a Facebook page quickly? Do you have is Facebook and Instagram? And I know that you know they, they're sister companies. Yeah. Do they have the same algorithm type or what? No, not at all. Like." Forget about Facebook pages. They suck, <laughs> like for real. Uh, Facebook pages, like the, the reach is dead for the most part, um, unless you're like massive um, or and unless you're spending a lot of money on ads. Um, Instagram organic is the place to be. So forget about Facebook pages for the most part. Um, I will focus my effort, especially if you're starting from scratch on Instagram. Um, I also wanted to mention here, what we covered here today is just the tip of the iceberg. I know you have a lot more questions and stuff like that. Um, so. Joe, for example, he hit $21,000 in the first 20 days. Um, he's also Dominican, which is super awesome for me. Um, Alex Becker, uh, we have you know a lot more testimonials. So what I'm going to do, um, we, before we answer all the questions and stuff like that, we're going to go through every single one. I want to make sure um, all your questions are answered. But I want to give you a full free training as well, apart from what I did today, uh, to get you not only your first 10K, but your first 100,000 followers and help you monetize them effectively, okay? So all you gotta do on Instagram, just message me 10K growth. So go to Instagram, just message me 10K growth, and I'll send you over um, the free, full free chain, the link for it, okay? So just, um, message, just message me on Instagram, 10K growth, while you're watching live or on the replay, um, and I'll send you over that, okay? Hey, Osway, I got a question for you, and I'm gonna put it up in the in the um, morning. That, that's um, Osway's information for DM him, him, 10K Growth, guys, if you guys wanna reach out to him on Instagram. But a question for you, though. Um, when it comes to doing the Instagram growth, right, um, yeah. how long would somebody expect, like how, how long before you can see, start seeing results? Not to get to where you wanna to get to, but like start seeing results. So I would say if you're able to first do the market research correctly and post the right content, you can have results in the first seven days or before. It's almost instant. Like why it is called Instagram. It's, yeah. very, it's very fast, uh, which is why I love it, right? So for example, I also want to show you something. Uh, let me let me share my screen here real quick. So here, this is Marketer Magic, right? I have an account, yep. so everybody, right? So you might be saying, okay, so how do I use Marketer Magic for like to for to build an Instagram agency and stuff like that. Well, I have like multiple things right here. I did restaurants in Miami and dentists in Miami, right? So for example, um, if we open restaurants in Miami, um, boom, right? It creates a bunch of different things and it have their Instagram handle right here, right? So what I just did, I opened a few before, right? This is a, I've never been to this place and I live here, right? It looks cool, but their page sucks. 2,000 followers in Wynwood, um, they page really, really sucks. So that's the very simple, easy client that I can help. Um, another one right here, for example, another restaurant, 2,000 followers, right? Very bad page, to be honest with you. I'm sure their food is amazing, but the page is not good at all, right? There's a very, I mean, 2,000 followers and it looks like this, chances are you're not gonna wanna look, go if you follow them on Instagram, right? There's another one, right? Masonary. I don't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> um, <laughs> 20,000 followers, right? In Midtown Miami. And again, page pictures look eh, um, and it has 2,600 followers. So these clients are super, super easy to close, even for $1,000 a month, $1,500 a month, like $2,000 a month. Super, super easy. And you're able to grow them very, very easily, okay? Like by simply implementing this exact same thing I showed you here today, you can do it there as well. So we did, um, I, you know, 
this is restaurants, right? But let's just say you are, I saw cosmetics, right? Let's just say you beauty salon, right? Um, beauty salons also have the exact same thing here on Marketer Magic. So the exact same uh, Instagram handle out right there. If, they do, if you don't see any social profiles, is that also a great opportunity for you to reach out and say, hey, you need Instagram, you need these things and I can do it for you, okay? So again, right there, you can see the Instagram handle. Um, and I just opened this one, right? Bleach hair addiction. No bio, mm. logo, 10,000 followers, right? But their engagement in their content is extremely just horribly bad. Just bad. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to show you another one um, where I actually go to get my haircut. Inscape. There you go. Right? 500 followers. <laughs> and you want me to say, well, so why are you getting a haircut here? Well, the, the I don't know. It was, it showed up on my Google and I did not like my barber here. So I decided to go there. It was actually nice. So the content is actually decent. They have no marketing strategy at all. Like zero. 500 followers, zero. And I can guarantee you they're getting a lot of business from Instagram. Like a lot. People, when they get a haircut, when they do something, they post it on Instagram, they tag the place they want to. Right? And if you don't have a page optimized, you are hindering your business, right? So you can simply just come here and offer them, hey, let's, let me grow your page to 10,000 followers at least, 50,000, 100,000. It's gonna give you more credibility and stuff like that. So you can just simply implement the stuff I share with you here today. Um, yeah, so again, if you want the full training and stuff like that, just message me 10K growth on Instagram and I'll send it over to you right away. Um, but yeah, like this is how we grow and monetize Market Magic allows you already to reach a bunch of leads to close for local businesses and stuff like that, which is something super, super easy. And personal trainers, gyms, spas, restaurant owners, uh, lawyers, like tons of people need Instagram. Real estate agents, like all these people can use Instagram and you could do it for them. Um, and you can become kind of like the category king on that niche. Okay. You can become kind of like the, what I did with personal brands. Um, on like the ClickFunnels community, you can become the go-to person for real estate agents on Instagram. You can become the go-to person for salons on Instagram. So you can become that go-to person in that specific niche and you can absolutely crush it. So again, message me the, the 10K growth and uh, I'll send you over the free training as well. Cool, so man. Me, let's so, ask some questions now. Yeah, so the questions that, the questions I was gonna ask, so uh, of all the tools in, in Market and Magic, in order for like that best use for Instagram, Many leads is the one that you go to the most, right? Correct. And uh, the mini me with the deep link. If you're going to use Manny Chat, use the deep link in the mini me because when you swipe up on his on Instagram stuff like that, it will take you automatically to the Messenger app. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Let's see if we can smash some questions here really quickly. I know we got probably about 15 more minutes and we have two more giveaways to do, guys. So, guys, please stand by. The links that you see, the folks in our, um, you know, either Debbie or some people from our group putting in there, that's gonna be the link to the YouTube channel. Easiest way to do that, just right click the link and click open up in a separate window so that way you don't leave here and miss anything else, okay? So you can stay on Facebook and then answer on YouTube, all right? That's gonna be the best way to do that. Um, next thing, Debbie says, um, aggressive organic marketing, find your group of people, provide value, invite them to the page. Does that sound about right? So let me see, uh, aggressive, find group of people, provide value, invite them to the page. So um yes and no <laughs> um that's not really aggressive i would say aggressive will be you spending money on influencers and stuff like that to promote your page so that'll be more aggressive but you can do it the same way you can you know um go on instagram find the influencers comment on their post and stuff like that as well um but i'm guessing debbie's asking for more for facebook groups than instagram because you cannot invite somebody to like your page that is like not like you can on 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 Facebook. 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 Yeah. Next one says, bro, I have 200K. Can I monetize? Oh, bro. Really? Like, yes, please. You I wonder what category monetize. he's in. I wonder, yeah, wonder what category uh, uh, Tarsi is in. Yeah. You can definitely um, monetize that. <laughs> Serene says, I have one for camping gear and the other one's starting on sunglasses. So focus on one. Don't do two at the same time. Focus on one and that's it. Um, and try selling something more high ticket. That's what I personally like. So, you know, you can sell your Instagram services 
for people. Um, if you can become good at managing Instagram pages and growing them, you can sell that service to other businesses and you can make a, heck of, a lot of money with that and less clients. I'm guessing you have an income store, Serene. So sounds yeah. like it. Uh, I wonder what's the number one thing on like everything you, you, you named, right? What's the number one thing that can help the growth? If you had to pick one skill within Instagram to help you grow your page, what would that be? So post better content. Posting content? Yeah. Like I know for like, for example, at the top of my head right now, um, a perfect example comes to mind. His name is Andy Batushi. Um, and he has like a meme page, like meme for entrepreneurs. And his page was super small when I found him, like super crazy small. But he did an amazing piece of content like on Wolf of Wall Street and it blew up like crazy. And now like a bunch of people follow him. So content is by far the most important piece. Um, if you are, you know, if you have a creative outlet and you're good at creating content, if you're not good like me, then figure out exactly the formula that works. And I just share it with you here today. Market research, by far number one thing to do. Got you. Tarsi, the one that we responded about 200K says, how can I monetize? Sell them something. <laughs> like what niche are you in? Like, that's what I need to know first. Like, is it 200,000 followers in the pet industry or is it 200,000 followers in the entrepreneurship or whatever? Regardless, you have 200,000 followers. So you know what you're doing when it comes to growth. Sell that as a service to other people. That's nice. the easiest thing you can possibly do. Just use your page, 200,000 to sell your stuff to other people. Like go hit up a restaurant owner, personal brand, whatever the case may be, hit them up and offer your services to grow their Instagram page for them. Awesome, sounds good. The other one says, "Grow says, um, how to get people to follow up, follow us instead of just throwing a like or just uh, on our post? Because after they giving a like, they almost just always get lost. So what I'm guessing like, how do you keep your audience engaged? That's the right. actual question that you want to, yeah. So. Like I said before, copywriting is by far the most important thing um, in terms of like keeping your audience engaged. So I did the Uber example. Um, so what I personally like to do beneath, I post a picture and beneath it, I write a piece of caption, right? That caption has story, hook, what we talked about. And then at the end it has a call to action or CTA. And that right there allows people to comment and keep engaged. So um, that's the way you do it. Yes, people like double tap, but the people who comment are more targeted and value leads than people who like. So hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> gotcha. Mess man. Messaging people and talking with them on DMs is also another great way to do that. So the next one says, this is pretty interesting. Can hundred dollars go a long way to get 10 K followers? It depends on your creative and on your page. So for example, Dylan Jacob, right? $300, 10,000 followers in 24 hours. Is that common? No. Is that possible? <laughs> right? So a hundred dollars is not going to get you a long, 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 long way to get you to 10,000 followers because it's only a hundred dollars. Right. But it might get you 5,000 followers. It might get you 10. Like, I don't know. Um, but it all comes down to the promotion itself, like the ad creative, if it's good. So, um, I wouldn't necessarily like those hundred dollars. If you don't know how to grow, I wouldn't put it to a promotion. I will first figure out a way to grow organically without paying and then do that because those hundred dollars are going to be spent like this. Like it doesn't like you're not going to be able to get enough data to be able to use that money effectively. So better off, use that money, buy a program, whatever that teaches you how to grow and then you start growing and then you invest into growth. That's my recommendation and what I would do. So pretty much getting a skill, earning money with that skill, and then reinvesting it back in there and multiplying. Gotcha. Right. Exactly. Ser Serena says, how many products is a good start out when, uh, with when starting your, your first, first start? Okay, this is e -com. So I'm not an e -com guru, but I do know e -com. We have an e-com store ourselves as well. Um, test one product at a time if you have a small budget. <laughs> Don't try to test like 20. Um, I personally like niche e-com stores and branded. So that feel more like an authentic brand, even though it's drop shipping. So that's what I would do. Um, how many products depends on your budget. If you have a thousand dollars to burn, you can test 500, like five products at the same time at a hundred dollars a day. Right. But it all depends on what budget do you have. So just start with one product and, or two 
and they just go from there. That's what I would do and what we're doing. Awesome, awesome. Just gearing up for seeing any more. Uh, yeah, you, I think you answered this one talking about Instagram to many yep. chat, right? Yeah, Debbie, that, that was back in the day. Like now, you don't even need to do that. Like now you can go Instagram to Instagram and keep that on Instagram because the conversions are going to be higher. So you can go Instagram story to the M's. And then if you want, you can get them on Manny chat too. But Instagram stories and the M you can keep in there. And then from there, you can just take the payment, phone call, boom, close the deal. All right. Uh, let me see right here. Oh, <laughs> I think a couple. Let me see who actually won the host weight giveaway. Host weight, you're going to have to make sure that if they got it all right, okay? Um, let me, before we do that, to, to answer the, the question, can you do the same on Facebook, Demitar? No, you can't. We just answered that one. Um, Josue said that the, the algorithm is, is very different on Facebook than it is yeah. on Instagram. Um, it, it's just two different beasts. Um, he also says, what can you suggest if I have a page with a reach of 800K? I mean, I'm sure you could do something with that, right? Oh, like, right? Demitar, like, were you the one that's asked the the, the 200,000 follower one? No, I don't think so. No, no, somebody that's Tarsen. Okay. But yeah, like you can make a heck of a lot of money with that. Again, sell, if, if worse comes to worse, sell your services. You know how to grow pages. Like sell your services to other people. Yeah, I wonder if he's talking about his Facebook page because he's the one that oh. had the Facebook page at 800K. Would, he be, would it be smart to redirect some people to have him follow him on Instagram oh, yeah. and go from yeah. there? Yeah, I would, I would try to get people off, off Facebook to Instagram for sure. Awesome. And then um, Sharif is the first attempt here with the six minutes. So let's see if he gets it right, y'all. Networking, hit himself a funnel, direct message. Yeah, that is correct. I mean, I ne don't necessarily call it this hidden selfie funnel. I call it the IG story funnel, but that's fine. We'll just call it like that because it was in the presentation too. So yes, uh, Sarif uh, messaged me on Instagram with a screenshot of your um, which we call it of your like you logged in into um, Facebook, so I know it was you. Yes. <laughs> messaged me on Instagram with a screenshot of that, and I'll send you over. Um, the free course. Awesome, man. So congratulations, Sharif, on that. That was the giveaway that Josue was doing. Debbie asked, what are the best practices to get leads for IG? So I, I sh the six things I shared with you today are the best practices. <laughs> um, the best practice by far is IG story to DMs, period. That's it. You cannot beat that. Like we have clients that are making $400,000 a month just on that. Jeez. Yeah, it, it's insane. Um, and it's extremely, extremely powerful. Like you'll be surprised how powerful IG stories and DMs is because people open it. People are on Instagram all the time. So if you're able to do it, leads come through. So it all comes down to Debbie, like you being able to utilize Instagram stories correctly and IG DMs correctly. Debbie also says, do you multi-integrate to other social media platforms to gather more leads as well? Yeah, for sure. Like for my YouTube channel, I have a YouTube channel. You can go check it, all the videos there as well. Um, for free from YouTube, I push people to my Instagram to message me. Um, so yes, I try to cross pollinate everything, if you will. Gosh. Okay. Cool. Per Lee Latin. We just posted down below the 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 um, link for the um, uh, for the YouTube channel. So go ahead down there and click it down below. Okay. Let um, me see if there's anything else here, and then we can go on to asking a few questions that I actually have for you, sir. And dang, he says I was like one minute behind. Yeah, you were, man. Cody had the same six answers, and he was yeah. like, led by a few. Josue, just for the people, so you guys who um, who didn't ask certain questions, I took notes myself to ask. Um, let me see if you can answer really quickly, like one or two sentences, Josue. I'm not gonna keep you longer. Anybody else? Okay. The first one is the content um, that I borrow on Instagram, right? And you post. Will the owner of the content get mad, or if I give them credit, will they be fine? If you give them credit nine times out of 10, they'll be fine. You know, there's always that one person who has a stick up their butt, <laughs> um, yeah. you know, but chances are you're promoting somebody for free. They appreciate that you are saying your work is good enough to be promoted for free. So they, they'll be fine. You're gotcha. promoting, you, you win, your audience wins, the person the original content is from wins too. So right. yeah. Have to explaining that to them, I think will be a good thing too. Guys, down below in the, um, if you see the rolling bar at the bottom, don't forget to sign up for Marketer Magic to at least try it out. 
for the seven days, the free trial that you get, make sure you try it. Cause what Josue was able to use the mini leads, he's able to use the mini me and the deep links to be able to do some of the things he showed you here with the exactly six finity stones that he used to share you with you guys, how to grow an Instagram page to 10 K in less than 60 days. So if you guys are truly serious about it and want to give it a try and reach out to these restaurant owners, dentists and whatnot, who may need help, restaurant owners are going to need your help, especially, especially when COVID yeah. starts to open up again. I mean, if we, if we, in Miami, at least they're opening back up. So yeah. like right now it is the perfect, perfect time to do this. Exactly. So. Perfect time. Um, I see, I got some more questions. So the other questions I have for you is what are the best apps to use for editing or videos on Instagram that you use and recommend? So, I mean, I don't use anything right now because I have a video editor. <laughs> <laughs> so we use Premiere Pro and Final Cut and After Effects and stuff like that. That's a little bit more like computer and tech savvy. But on the phone, there's apps like Fonto. Um, there is an app, uh, Vid something, I forgot. Videos? I, I movie. Uh, you can edit videos and photos on your phone. Um, so yeah, Canva is a great one Canva, it's for, it. uh, to, to edit pictures. So yeah, yeah that, that's something you can easily do with that. Dimitar, he was the one asking about the Facebook page 800K. Dimitar, we, we said it, just direct them over to your actual um to your actual instagram page and then from there you can start to do offerings and just say like you can start to do giveaways you can do give away free cheat sheets and stuff there to get people incentivized to come over to your instagram page to sign up under you then from there you can start um you know pretty much get you know offering any type of deal. just like hostway was saying how do you offer give them an offer that they can't refuse pretty much to your instagram stories um which mm -hmm. is going to be very very powerful um yep, sir. Okay. Um, yes, the video will be available again on replay on this channel. So make sure Lee Latin that you actually, um, you know, subscribe to that. Lee Latin also says Adobe Spark for editing. That's another good one too. So good job on that one. Yeah. Um, here's another question. How important are hashtags? Do they make or break your post in your growth? Or is it okay to just post and do no hashtags? That's actually a personal question. I need to <laughs> please, sir. <laughs> so hashtags are important, but they do not make or break you. Um, hashtags have become more and more uh, less relevant throughout the years. They are important, yes, but the amount of traffic you're going to get from them versus before is a lot less. Should you do your hashtag research? 100%. It's part of the market research that you should do. Should you like, you know, go hams deep, like balls deep and spend like 10 hours doing it? No. Um, just basic hashtag research, you'll be fine. Um, so yeah, that's what I would do. Cool. And and what what do you recommend to do the hashtag research? Because I know there's a couple websites out there. I just I just do it manually. I don't trust no website. <laughs> <laughs> you manually search them, or you look at the. Yeah, the I, I I mean I do it on the computer, but when you search a hashtag, then you see related hashtags, and you can go down the rabbit hole like that. And then I just put a spreadsheet with all the hashtags that I'm going to use, and I just copy and paste. Got you. Okay. Cool. All right. And then um, see what it says. You already named the best tool to use on Marketer Magic. That was Mini Leads and Mini Me with Deep Links. Yep. Um, the uh, second to last one, it says, with your success, right, how do you deal with the haters? How do you deal with the people that just can't see you win? Like, you, I know you have haters. I know you have haters, bro. So oh, how do you deal with them? Oh, sure. It's, that's a tough one because, yeah. <laughs> uh, dude, haters. You got to love them. So I was actually hearing a podcast from Alex Sharfin um, yesterday and, or today. And he, he said, haters confirm greatness. So the mm. fact that you have haters, nobody in history that ever tried to do anything out of the norm, everybody loved them. Like nobody, period, right? Yeah. Everybody had haters and everybody who tried to do anything great had haters. So what I would say is obviously if you're at the goal and stuff like that, if you're doing things right and you still have haters, then you can't please anybody period. So let's know that if you have haters, haters confirm greatness and you're on the right track. Chances are so, but to deal with them, just ignore them. So one of the things that I've had to learn, and it's not easy, like it's not because like they get under your skin. You're like, man, I'm working all this like really, really hard and like these idiots. Right. But at the same time is if you publicly address them, you are doing exactly what they want you to do. Meaning, 
Um, there was an example um, that Dan uh, the Silva told me um, about Drake, right? Some other rapper, I don't even know his name, like was shaming or hating on Drake because he had a son with somebody, I don't know, um, and Drake was trying to hide it, right? And then he, you know, busted him or shamed him or hated him, whatever the case may be. Yeah. Today, Drake is proud of his son, and I don't even know the other rapper's name. Push <laughs> we it know Drake. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> um, so it all comes down to like, hey, like, first of all, is not the end of your story. Yeah. Your story still, if, even if you're down, right? It's not the end of your story. Second, haters concern greatness. And third, they don't really matter. Yeah. Like, they, at the end of the day, they don't really matter. Like, haters just promote you for free. Like, yeah, that's yeah. the way you have to see it. And I know it's tough. Trust me, I know. Um, but you just have, you know, have thick skin and push it. Like, get over it. Um, and just know that it's going to come. It's going to come. Right. And you just have to know. Do not respond. That's the biggest thing. Do not respond. Don't. <laughs> that's what Responding they want. Responding pretty much breathes life into their efforts and trying to bring you down. So exactly. do not feed that. Make them irrelevant. They do not exist. That's exactly. how you respond. Congrats. Yeah, thanks, man, for that. Appreciate it. Uh, the other one says, someone says, and I know you have a travel page, which is why I mentioned that too, that you manage. He says, Pena, my niche is travel. Is that okay? I'm gonna let you answer yeah, that. Of course. I think that's the 200K page that you mentioned. Yes, 100%. There's like a ton of travel courses and stuff like that out there. Um, and people wanna travel and make money. like. You learn, know how to grow a freaking travel page. Reach out to a bunch of hotels. They need, like, desperately. Especially now. Especially now. Like, the <laughs> travel industry, it's shattered. Yeah, bro. Really, like, I would just start reaching out to hotels, getting contracts, signing deals, because they're going to need your help a lot in the next, like, coming times. Yep. So. Uh, Samir says, well, the replay will be on. The replay will definitely be on. Demetar says, how many times should I post on IG per day? I believe you said, was it max five, right? Or four? No, or it depends. At least once a day. At, At least, least once, a day. once a day. At least, right? The more you post, the more you grow. It depends on your page, though. Um, if you have a personal brand anywhere from one to three, if you have a page that's, you know, a little bit more broader, or whatever, um, you can post, you know, three to five or something like that. The more you post, the more you grow. I know pages that post 12 times a day. Damn. Damn. Yeah, and they're growing like a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars in followers a month. Well, makes so, sense. <laughs> yeah. All right, my last question, and then we're gonna wrap this giveaways back to back. Hundred dollar giveaway, and also gonna be the book for Kevin David. You guys don't know now. You know it's the book that we're gonna be doing a giveaway. This exact book gonna be given away to you. So, last question for you, with everyone, and I know everybody can relate to this. Okay, with your um, family not believing in you, you doing it for that many years and sticking to it, bro. What kept you focused? And when the people you love the most, not haters that you don't know, but yeah. the people you love the most are like silently doubting you and kind of giving you like a pat on the back, but saying, I just wish you would do something else. Like, how do you- for me, it wasn't silent. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I think it was not silent for me. <laughs> you know how Latina families are. They're not silent at right. all. They're like, you should go get a job. <laughs> you stop playing the computer. You just stop wasting time. When are you gonna grow up? Mature, mm. you know. So it wasn't. It wasn't silent. Um, mm. What kept me going? Um, so I've only. I've always been kind of like the the black sheep or the outsider. Um, and I don't know. It, it, you know, it just. I just did. Like it just. I was a rebel. I've, I've been a rebel since like I was ten. Like I'm. I'm a rebel by nature, I guess. Um, and it was like when I was told something like completely unrelated to business, when I was told like, you can't do that, I wanted to do it. So I did, for example, a real example, uh, in school, they told us that you can't wear gel in your hair. Some stupid rule one day. Literally, the next day, I never wear gel. I went with my hair just full of gel, just because they said no. So um, <laughs> I guess that was one of the In terms of pushing forward, yeah. Um, it just videos on, on YouTube. Like I just started surrounding me with the people that I wanted to become. So for example, even though I'm, you know, I don't have any brothers or sisters, um, and I'm from the Dominican Republic, the internet allows you to connect with other people. So I started connecting through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube with other people who played soccer, who other people that wanted to become a professional soccer player. And I was getting support from them. So 
the circle, your environment plays a humongous role in your success, hands down by far. Like there's no questions asked. Your environment plays a big role and the environment right here, not the environment physically, but in your head. Um, meaning if you like, for example, if I were to listen to my parents, I would have probably been still an engineer in the Dominican Republic making three to $400 a month. Like I was making, that's it. Right. I was, I will be completely unhappy. Um, and now where I want to be. So at the end of the day, you have to realize that you are the one that makes the decisions and you are the one for good or bad responsible for your decisions. So obviously when you're like 15 and stuff like that, you got to respect your parents. Always. You got to respect your parents, period. Always. But, yeah. You know, <laughs> like when you're 20, 21, 22, like you, you got to make your own decisions. It's your life. Right? Respectfully, in loving kind of manner, you say, hey, you know, I understand that you don't want me to do this online business thing, but I think um, this will really work. And I definitely want to pursue this um, because I don't see myself working a nine to five job at a freaking corporation and just, you know, that will suck my life away. I do not see myself doing that. I do not want to do that. So I'm going to pursue this online business thing, whether you like it or not, period. So they say, oh, like, how are you going to support yourself? Maybe you have to get a, another job, right? Maybe you have to get a side hustle or something like that to cover your bills and expenses and then save up a little bit of money and then invest back in yourself. Just do whatever you have to, whatever you have to do, just do it. Um, you have no idea the amount of stuff that I've been having to go through. Um, mm. And it's insane. Like even Kevin says, like your life is a Netflix show. Um, <laughs> right. it's, it's unbelievable. Um, and most people wouldn't do it yeah. because they don't have the girl, like they don't want it bad enough. For me, it's, it's, there's no way, there's no way, this. there's literally no other way out. Like the only way out is through. through. So just think about it like that. Um, if you, your family doesn't support you, it's fine. Family at the end of the day always comes back. Your blood, you're going to be fine. Gotcha. If you say, hey, this is my decision. I'm going to do this. First of all, they're going to respect you. Second, they're not going to see you as a child anymore. And third, they're going to come back when you see success. Yep. And then you're not, like the last thing you need to say is I told you so. At that time, you can say, "Hey, thank you so much. Um, I know you didn't support me at the beginning, but thanks again. Thanks for supporting me now. Because at the end of the day, your family only chances are the only one what's best for you, and they can only judge things from their own perspective and through their own glasses. My yep. parents, you know, our parents, they lived and grew up in a different era where the internet yep. wasn't relevant, where you actually had to go to college to make a living and stuff like that. Right now, it's completely changed. So." Think that your family and the people that are not supporting you, chances are they want what is best for you and they're only judging things based on their glasses, not through what you know, okay? So just respectfully and lovingly say, I respect your decision you're like, or your opinion. I love you, but this is the decision I'm gonna make, whether you like it or not, that's it. I love it, bro. All right, so that's the last one. And um, the person who is the winner for that question was, which was for the book, how much did IG Instagram sell for? And that was $1 billion. Today, Instagram is worth, according to the year 2018 sources report, over $100 billion right now. So tell me that that was not an investment. Good job, Facebook. But yeah, Beer Town yeah. Comedy, the way you're going to win this, you're going to get a receive a link from our, our um, support staff that's going to send you a link. You've got to fill that out. If you don't, with proof that you own this Facebook account with a snapshot of this live or this comment to let us know that you're the winner, um, you just won't win. And we'll go with the next person who, who responded correctly. Um, so with that being said, the winner for the $100 giveaway is going to be the person who was engaged the most. And to me, in my opinion, from what I've seen and the questions that, that this person asked is going to be none other than Mr. Dimitar. He says, I play soccer all my life, which is a plus, right? Boom, boom, boom. And then he says, you have to go to so many trainings so you can win the game. And that is conjecture. You won the game. You got $100. Um, you'll be receiving a link from our support staff. Fill it out and we should get that prize to you ASAP. So Josue, my man, thank you so much. We did hold you over time, but I appreciate your time. Um, as usual, you dropped some knowledge. Everybody, don't forget to sign up for Marketer Magic. You have seven day free trial. Use everything that Josue has told you in conjunction with Marketer Magic for you to get the clients. This is the perfect time. We're getting out of 
a never before seen a moment in, in our economic history. Ian Josue is telling you by factual information that stores are starting to open up. So this is your chance to start taking the market share. Um, Josue also, if you want to get in contact with him, if you want to send, you know, or reach out to him, 10K growth is what you have to DM him on Instagram at Pena to get more information about that. He has um, free courses that he gives away. So make sure that you guys um, take full advantage of these lives. We bring them high quality people or high quality information for you as much as we can. So I hope that you guys learned a lot here. And if you did, please drop a one in the comment section. And um, I hope you guys really did enjoy this. We'll sway my man. I'll see you yeah. again in Miami. Hopefully it's August, brother. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you got to this point and you're watching live on the replay, I want you to comment down below the heart emoji. If you loved today's live stream, just for that us to true. know that you enjoyed it and that you got here to this point, whether you're watching live or on the replay, because I know we've been uh, for quite some time, but just drop the heart emoji down below. I appreciate you people. Bam. It's been a pleasure. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace and love. Next week, same time, Tuesday, 530 Eastern Standard Time. I'll see you later. Keep happy hustling.